Hey guys, Lord Redstone here. I am in Ray's Works world where he downloaded, uploaded, excuse me, this farm to YouTube. Uh, this is a 100% automatic wood farm using the nether trees or giant fungus trees, however you want to say it. I looked through dozens of designs, literally dozens and dozens and dozens, and I, I come across this design. This is actually one of the first ones on the the list but I came across this design and I liked it more than I liked the rest of them and the others had very good pluses and also a whole lot of drawbacks I wanted something automatic I've never had an automatic wood farm I've built plenty of tree farms in the past and this right here caught my attention and it, it, it's not the fastest in the world but it is awesome it's 100% automatic uh, I'm not 100% sure that it produces enough bone meal yet I'll keep testing and see but I wanted to show you everything that you could do to get this thing up and running and set up in your own world. There were a lot of redundancies on the bottom of this. I took out a whole lot of them. I wanted to show you what I did. There were four dispensers right here. I took those out. Just put any block there in, in this place. There was a hopper here, hopper here, and a hopper here. They were just eating up bone meal. They weren't hooked up to anything. There were two hoppers here that were actually hooked up to the dispenser, but it wasn't doing any good because the power source down here at the bottom was doing absolutely nothing. So the only one that really matters is this target block with this redstone line. I took out the rest of it back. Also, I took out the honey blocks over here. Don't need those. I'll show you a better way of putting in your blocks with your mine carts right there. All you gotta do is just put it, don't even need the observers and the pistons that were down here with the rails. You can take all that out. Just put your line of hoppers going over here to this one composter right here and it'll carry all of your items. They won't get stuck or they won't back up or anything like that. It doesn't produce items fast enough to get backed up. Um, and likewise you can take off this obsidian blocks right here it doesn't produce blocks fast enough to trap anything or push these blocks out and your redstone dust won't get blown up okay uh, next step I also oh, let me show you how to put these these uh, blocks in like when you're changing it out say we got the red in there right now we got some blue over there you can see but this is easier than taking apart the whole top of the design and trying to put in a uh, pistons to push down blocks on top of your your minecraft or minecarts like he like he was telling you to in his video so you take out this redstone dust and two pieces of glass block and this one solid block goes in front of this repeater then you want to come over here with two solid blocks the solid block right there and just put a block right here alright next put you two rails just like so let's get this uh, piston here Put your piston right there. Take that out for a minute. And then you check, take the block you want to switch it out for. See, these already have the hopper minecarts inside of them. I switched them out earlier. So you put your block right there. You throw down your minecart with a hopper. You push it into the block just like so. Then you power this piston right here. And there is your minecart with a hopper inside. Whenever you're done, all you got to do is just close the thing back up again. Just leave that, <laughs> that there. Okay, take that back out. Put your dust back down. Put your solid block back in. Complete your line of redstone again, and you're done. That's literally it. You can leave this here for future uses because you aren't going to keep the same exact piece of wood in there. The only thing is, you'd have to catch your minecart with a hopper as they come out the other side. They'll come out right here they'll literally fall down right off this hopper chain right here and you can leave your blocks right here for future use just come back with a silk touch pick up pickaxe and pick those up yourself uh, also I uh, put in a new power switch right there and a new way of activating it down here I put it like my little interface right here I'm not done building it yet I was doing going to do a whole lot of testing in my world but uh, let's scoot on over there right quick and show you how that looks okay this is my survival server and this is where I built it up in this world right here um, sorry about the mess <laughs> like I said I'm still in the process of building it 
So for activating it, all I did was put took the, the lever down here and I put a redstone lamp under there so you could tell when it's on. Also, I'm going to hook up a a chunk loader over here so it doesn't mess up the TNT or anything like that. And whenever you come off the back right here, just run into your torch tower going straight up in front of the pistons. The pistons are like right, the piston is like right there, the one that you connect it to. And then this torch tower right here is just has dust coming off of it, going down into the ground one and build your torch tower all the way up to under that this block right here that has the redstone dust that activates the torch that used to activate the the farm itself and that's literally all you have to do with that part right there I think that's all that I had to show you let me show you this thing working in action in my world so you flip that switch and you press that button to turn off the the redstone torch send the signal throughout the entire thing it looks like we got a tree already and the TNT is duplicating and blowing the tree up I love 100% automatic farms this right here is one of the best that I've seen in quite a while man all that trickery with the, the scaffolding and the cobblestone walls coming down really really awesome I like it I really like it a lot so this is how I uh, built it up in this world and I showed you what all, what all you could change and all the redundancies on the bottom of it so you can change that up yourself and fix it up any which way you wish I hope you found this video educational and please go over to Ray's Works video and leave a like and tell him I sent you goodbye everybody